you know, it would help if I unmuted my mic. That that would be a step towards fucking doing a stream. Yeah. I'm also realizing right now how redundant it is to title the stream the game I'm playing when they have the category. So, you know, fucking lessons learned. Like that no one told me that. No one no one no one decided to point out that redundancy at all. I mean I guess I should have been smart enough to fucking notice, but whatever. No, don't do that. You absolute stupid computer. I will be right back before we start so we can go shut this dog up. Whenever, whenever uh, this dog's owner is my parent, my mother is not home, that dog will bark for hours. He will not stop. If I would let this dog continue to bark, he would be there for five plus hours, killing his voice, barking for the damn woman to come home. It's fucking infuriating for when I'm watching the house. And, she, and it's like, all of a sudden, when I move back in, she's taking all these opportunities to use me to dog sit. And it's like, bitch, I'm trying to fucking turn my life around, not watch your dog. He's old and decrepit anyway, should be dead by now. Fuck it, fucker's got like a month or two left, I guarantee it. Ugh. <sighs> Fucking dog. I love him though. He he's definitely been in the family for a very long time, but boy does he piss me off. I'll be right back. Let's, let's fucking see if, uh, how scuffed this stream will be. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a fun time. Let's see if the audio is good. It'll probably be really loud. I'm sure that there'll be times when the, uh, when the fucking audio just gets a little too much. Let me just get comfortable in my chair. It's cold. It's fucking cold, man. I gotta get my robe back on. I swear to God, the dog starts again. He's fucking starting again. All right, well, <laughs> go shut him up one more time.
he he's gonna start barking again once I get into this, so I'm just gonna ignore his ass. If he wants to kill his voice barking for several hours for someone that's not gonna be home for another like twenty four hours, I do not care. <clears throat> so let's just get into this. Uh so some some backstory for the couple people that are here and for anyone that watches the VOD later. Uh this is loosely based off of a short short novel. Light novel? A light novel that I was working on for a while. Uh titled Long Road Home. Uh that was about a group of people. Well, it's about one character, but you know, it ends up being a group after like a chapter or so. Uh, it's a zombie apocalypse, like, fresh from the start, when shit just barely kicks off. It- oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Should be on my belt, not on the- Um, so this is based off of one of the main characters, but not the main character. Uh, Riley Griggs. So, the main character is from a community college nearby, but the rest of the characters are all from a small town that he uh, goes to school near. Uh, so, Riley Griggs is one of the characters from the small town. She's a local mechanic. Sweater tights. Baseball bats are pretty fucking based in this game, gotta admit. The shell casings. I don't need shell casings. Shell casings won't do anything for me. But anyway, the plot of the story is uh, uh, the small town's pretty much fucked as it is. The main character who is at the community college uh, he's trying to find his way or he was going to find his way Wait, ooh. He was going to find his way home, but he believes that his family's already dead, so he doesn't know what to do. Shaisa, I already have. Fuck. Uh. Be equip this. Does that put the. Okay. Um, long story short, he's just, he's just trying to help someone from the college that he knows help her to her family's house, since he can't really go himself. I'm gonna put this wrench away, because I can attach this to my back. Mm, damn, I don't have a holster. I don't have a backpack either, that's fucked. Alright, well, I can't take that. I want to attach this to the back instead, actually, and put this away. I would much rather have the fire axe, to be honest. Oh, that's pretty fucking damaged. Great, nothing. Okay, so. Let's see what we got cooking. Oh, good. We got absolutely shit. Uh, so this was a short story I wrote back in uh, late middle school, early high school. It never really went anywhere. Uh, oh, it's an apartment building. Fuck. I thought this was a house. Yeah, the uh, problem with my writing back then was that I was still, was still in the, the age where I was, um, uh, how do we put it, like, I gave my characters, like, protagonist syndrome, where they were, like, really fucking great at everything, and, uh, obviously the main character had a romantic interest with the other main character, not this chick, but another character. And, uh, it was definitely based off my taste at the time. 
highly cringe. The plot was pretty solid, though. It just, you know, <laughs> it was tainted by my adolescent mind. Uh, where is he? Yeah, there he is. Let's recap that. So there's a lot of food. I'm just taking uh, inventory right now. Uh, I need to get a bag first, like a duffel or something. Before I can take anything. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright. A fucking M40 rifle. Okay. It's too bad that I don't have the mod that sorts out the proper munition spawns. But whatever, it's, it's fine. Uh, oh. Let's put these back. I would like to take one. I already have a black pencil. I will grab one pencil. Face, okay, sir. If he starts banging on that, it's gonna be loud as fuck. It is a uh, an interesting part about this game is that I I can't play it the way I would normally. Like I would normally uh, be rushing around slaying zombies left and right, but because of the way this game works, I have to be so fucking cautious. All right, I'm gonna ignore food. Uh, power should be on for a good while. I am looking for methods of storage for. Items. Ooh. A lot of 45 ACP rounds, which is pretty nice. Usually what I use. Uh, but not a single bag. Ooh, wait. Vitamins are pretty fucking decent. I feel like I should have this out. So we've got some gas masks, which is pretty decent as well. So first floors of apartment buildings I never live in. I barricade the shit out of them, take whatever loot's in it, and put it somewhere upstairs. Uh, downstairs is like a sacrificial land where I just leave everything to be... Left alone. I'll replace you. Uh, where's the other one? Wait, where? No, no, no. I want you in there. I want you. There we go. Uh, let's see. Looks like there's pretty much no bags here, which is a little annoying, but whatever. I was planning on spawning her with a single duffel bag. The issue with that is that I wanted to be a little lore accurate, and in the story, she never had a bag at the beginning. Uh, she was the kind of person that fucking took her shirt off while she was working on greasy-ass cars. She was like that kind of person, the, uh, Greasy up, but oddly really attractive uh, mechanic. And so she never had, like, her stuff on her. So I didn't feel like giving her... Oh, I'm sorry. You get a pickaxe in your apartment. All right. Fucking prospector moving in, apparently. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, my God. Apologies. Cream of darkness. Okay. I got, like, the, this guy has a lot of suppressors and medium ammo box for an Osprey. I'm sorry. This dude's carrying ammo for a fucking B-22. Or B-20. I forget which it is. Oh, you know what? This could actually... Uh, here's what I'll do is I'll put the medical in there. And I put the Glock. I'll put the Glock in there as well. And I put the gas can. And I can. I don't know why that works. Oh, there we go. Figured it out. The cun case. The 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 cun. Whoa, not the cun case. The gun case. That works. I like how I hold it like a little lunch bag, lunchbox too. You'll get over it. Fucking being bored. I still don't get this. I literally tell talk about this a lot. How the fuck does a person get bored in the zombie apocalypse? You'd be so stressed and like focused. I don't think you would have time to be bored. Please be back back somewhere. Please love the Christ. The fanny bag. I think I could wear that with the uh... oh hiking bag. Fuck yes. And a satchel. Uh, let's. Can I wear that with it? Yes. Get fucked. Uh, all right. So place that on the ground. Uh, satchel bag will be my medical. It's usually how I play it. Satchel is medical. Uh, everything else goes in here. Yeah. Alright, so now I can start taking, uh, other shit. Uh, da -da 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 I'll take... This shit. This shit. I don't know if I should take the fanny pack. <laughs> it's, I feel like that's... I feel like it's a good meta, but... I wear it on my back now. It'll take the place of the satchel. Alright. I wear the satchel. Wear the fanny pack. Ayo! <laughs> it's so stupid. Whatever works, though. Again, with the suppressor, I really just... I don't get it. Alright. They can get, collect those revolver rounds from downstairs now. That'll be for that revolver. <laughs> I wish they had uh, a Japanese map, and they kind of do, but it's not it's not fully fledged out yet. Fleshed out. I think it'd be great though, is because uh, with that revolver you could do like a police officer roleplay. Uh, let's see, another Lucille, another V2, like an Osprey ammo box. I don't know if that's the Osprey, like the fucking plane, or. Digitally locked crossbow. Oh, it's just from the Osprey mod. Okay. I was about to say, because there's also a gun in science fiction that's uh, called the Osprey. It's like an SMG. I didn't know if that was maybe a mistake on that part. On their part. I'm surprised that I'm finding zero zombies in here, by the way. It's kind of weird. I'm like a little unnerved by it. What the fuck? I did not shut that door. 
Oh man, that would actually be really cool if there was fucking specters in this. Like, you know, there's some ghost shit going on. That actually scared me though, that door shutting. Uh, let's see. None of this is good. You might be asking why I'm not putting a shirt on, and it's because, fuck you, that's why. My character just didn't have a shirt on when she started, and I gotta find a good shirt. A good shirt to give. Uh, let's see. I now have a briefcase as well. A gun case. Let's place you there. I can take a look. See, usually there's a little picture underneath it in the uh, descriptor box, but it, you never know. Sometimes it, the mod doesn't work and it doesn't show it. So you always got to be really diligent about that. I am hearing a zombie down there get really close to the building, and I think it's because I sort of crouch sprinted away. He could also be up. Is there no light? There's no light in this room. That's a little weird. There's no light in any of these. Alright. It, okay, so yeah, it's when, I'm when I clicked off, alright. Usually it didn't do that before, so kind of surprised. Uh, will this clip with my... Oh, it looks fine. Ish, that's fine. I wanted to make sure it didn't clip with the uh, body. They have a... Uh... That's pretty good looking quality, so I'm just gonna put that shit in there. I have a mod for the body texture, so, I, you know, sometimes the shit... Oh, there goes the gun case. Briefcase will probably be the second... Second gun storage. And we're not fucking with food right now, we're, we're just doing, uh... Ooh, shut up. You're focused on purely getting weapons. Yeah, they have a lot of people this apartment had guns. And backpacks and shit. Uh, I don't think I have anything in the backpack yet, besides the gas can, so I can probably go and get some food out of it. That's yeah, pretty low condition, I'll wait. See what's what in the other area. Because I do remember there was one, uh, there was one, uh, handgun of that type below. Your name. Medical. Just so that if I put it down, I know. I mean, yes, I'll know by the medical items in it, but I want to make sure. Because if I put it inside of a uh, container, yeah, I'll at least be able to see it before instead of having to search through all of them. Because usually I will, I will have a medical satchel, an ammo satchel, and a tool satchel. Um, and it depends on like what I'm going to do on a run. Flight case is actually pretty decent. These can be pretty handy. They have six, but I can carry like a rifle up there, which is usually what I do. And let's put some more medical. I wish there was bandages, that's what I'm hoping for, but I'm never finding bandages, apparently. Uh, do I have a Beretta? Do not have a Beretta. I 
a duffel bag is pretty good. Hiking bag. I'm sorry, but a cowboy repeater, but the symbol's like a fucking plant or something. Uh, we will place that out there. Another gun case. Rusty pliers. I will put in my... Nope, I can't put it in my tool belt. In my backpack. Grab the duffel bag. I'm pretty sure it's just in my inventory. Yeah. I mean, I have the room for it, I guess. So, you know, that's fine. Uh, I will begin to take food, if only just a little bit of food, uh, mainly canned goods. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I don't have a red pen. Let me get that. I'm looking for an eraser more than anything right now. Alright, what's the Beretta look like here? <clears throat> Keep the Beretta with the better condition. God damn it. God damn it. I can't wait for the next, uh, the next build to come out. Forget that I'm on a higher level. I'm like, how the fuck is she up here? Uh, the next build is going to be 42, I believe. Or at least I'm on build 41. I don't know if build 42 is out yet. If it is, man, am I going to look stupid. Uh, build 42 is going to introduce, um... Basements, which is going to be pretty decent. Okay, so let's take stock. We got some garages here that might have goodies in it. Got some kind of building there. Small group there. zombies around here. I have the uh, spawn set to high in the urban areas, so... There's a car over there, but it looks pretty fucking dinged up. It's also in front of a group of zombies. I think my play right now is to uh, fortify the second and third floor of this building. Is probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick a room. I don't think I'm going to pick a room on the third floor. I think it's got to be second floor. Because there's no light switches up here for the bedrooms and shit. And that's kind of necessary for me. Um, I would like some space. This looks like a decent room to take so that's what we'll do he will place gun stuff over here
Let's see what's in here. Nothing's in here. So for now, I'll just place it. Okay, so let's see. Get rid of that irritation over here. I love how comical these cigarette butts are. They're really fucking big when you drop them on the floor. So here's what I will do is I will start building a trash can of sorts. Ooh, we got a headache. I guess I'll just use the sink. As my trash can. You know, normally what I do is I'm going to build a wall here and make the door to the room here. That or like in the other room so that the zombies have to take a long ass route and I can I can have stages of defense all the way to my room. Uh, so that's usually my go plan. My ga game plan, not my go plan. I don't know what the fucking go plan is, but... I need to go downstairs now and very carefully retrieve the, those weapons from the bottom floors. I don't have a hammer, which is the only issue. That scared the fuck out of me, to be honest. Um, shit like this, I'm just gonna take it. That sounds like it's in the building. And I really don't like that. So I'm gonna take some of these fucking magazines that it's... Yep, someone just broke in. Fuck. That is not helpful. Oh, I hope she did not see me. Don't care about the dances. Not seeing anything, no. Fuck, the doors closing are so loud, too. Shit. Yeah. That. Fucking Christ. I'm sure there's shit upstairs as well, so I'm not gonna take all those pans and whatnot. If I desperately need it, I will come and get some later. It's off. It's... Fucking idiot. So the reason it's uh the reason I'm leveling that up so so much right now is because there is a lot of zombies around me apparently. Jesus fucking Christ, okay. Oh, don't equip secondary fuck. That's not what I want. I want to place it. The road player, interesting. He's got a fucking handgun in there. Let's take whatever I can get.
give him the animal food. Always take the animal food. That's more helpful than you'd realize. Eee, don't like that. Okay, so, uh, let's... Going through all this shit again. Since I don't remember which which thing had which items. Uh, take all the magazines. Take all the bullets. Any box of bullets. We're definitely taking the fucking rifle. Uh... Maybe I shouldn't put that in here. That... Oh man, that shit gives me so bad, such bad anxiety. That's part of why I like it, but at the same time, it's like, fucking you know. I uh, will take some of these. I'm gonna leave a lot of uh, magazines down here because I don't need them yet. I don't want to just waste a bunch of space on magazines that I won't be able to use for days. Uh, that's pretty good. I like those. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Head back up. Or not back up, but let's just... Move on. I know there was at least like a couple more, uh, a couple more magazines and items down here. Single box of crossbow bolts. And I think there was a magnetically locked crossbow box at somewhere. Which I thought was pretty wild. Uh, I don't really need these gas masks yet. There shouldn't be any uh, toxic fog for a while. Uh, apparently it's already red. We're not, oh, it was already off. We're not going to look at food right now because we're already filled up pretty, pretty good. Uh, I really don't know what would be in these. So we will take that, take another K bar. Just in case. You never know. You never know what you're going to need. Uh, none of that. Especially the alarm clock, because I never know which one has an alarm set. But that doesn't help me. Nothing in here, so I can just turn it off. And the reason I'm closing the main doors as well... And sometimes some of the inner doors, it's because if zombies get in there, they have to break through to get at least to me. So, just an extra line of protection. Just in case. I think it was in here that the, uh, the magnetic locked one is at. Oh, it was interesting. 
Unless that other one, I don't know. My brain is all kinds of confuzzled by these room configurations. Because I assume that this is part of a uh, light ammo. It's definitely a mod. Alright. I did it. Me trying not to fucking slam doors. Alright. Let's take a good look around one last time in these rooms. I don't really care about the crossbow bolts because I don't have a crossbow just quite yet. Uh, let's see. It's gotta be in here then, as the last room, unless it's upstairs for some fucking reason. Pretty sure I checked that. All that upstairs. Interesting, interesting. I'm barely fucking losing it. Uh, nothing but underwear. First aid books I'll take. So we're just gonna put all the books. Go by category literature. All the books. All the books. Entertainment books I will put in another... Uh, in another... What's it called? This thing. Now I can just go in here. The entertainment books. Put them in there and take the skill books from over here. And then I'm gonna get the food going and put it in the fridge. I'm gonna drink that. These should go in the fridge. One thing else is perishable, so it'll go in this corner. All that shit in there. Forgot the marmalade. The bad coffee beans I like to place on top. I'll get a kettle for that. I'm gonna go yell at my dog one more time. See if he can understand the simple instruction of not bark. Be right back.
Okay, my god. It's it's almost like every 10 minutes I have to move him to another room so he, he remembers that they're gone. And he's like, okay. Because he'll just sit there barking at nothing. Shit, where's that coming from? Fuck, it wasn't that. Alright, it's going away. Fucking shit, man. Where is that alarm clock at? It's probably the next room over. Yeah, it's gonna be the room. It's either over there or downstairs. And if it's downstairs, I'm fucked. That's just, that's just the long and short of it. Hopefully it's deep enough in the apartment building that it, uh, fucking undead aren't hearing it. It's gonna be downstairs, isn't it? Fuck me, dude. Fuck, that's awful. I should have gone. At least I, I fucking went and turned that one off. I'm not even hearing it anymore. I don't know where it is. Shit. <laughs> We're just gonna take check all the bedrooms real fast. It might have been upstairs. If it's upstairs, then that's at least fine. That means that they shouldn't be able to hear it. If they do somehow, that's just witchcraft. Because it's, it's not just distant space, it's also altitude. So. Ah, oh, fuck, did it turn off? That makes it also harder to track down. got to be somewhere on this side of the building so if it's not up here then I have no idea where it is unless it's in some random ass place like on a shelf which you know what it could be for all I know and if it is that's just gonna be fucked I won't be able to find it there's so many bookshelves ah here wait, please uh Get rid of this now. Yeah. Uh, Glock magazine, I do want. Yes, I am aware. I am aware, body, that you require food. However, I don't feel like supplying the food. Also, don't know if I have a better version of that or if mine's the lesser version. So we'll just fucking take it. Whoop, don't mean to do that. I didn't see this before. Interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also the repeater. That looks like a fucking flower. We will take that. And then we will head back to my room. Before I get fucked. I should be okay to walk normally the second floor, but I have no fucking clue. I'm just going to, uh, drink this half of that. Let's 
smoke. I'm gonna eat. Just drink a little bit. And let's go over here. Read a magazine. Defend yourself with magazine is a funny fucking option. I, I did not know that was a thing. Alright, what does that do for... Nope, still can take down the mood. Comic book. I know they have different like levels of uh, boredom reduction, but I really, I'm just trying to get rid of the less ones. I, I, at least what I think are the less reductive. Oh wow, still fucking there. Boredom is gone. Stress is gone. Do I have anything else that requires... Uh... Like perishables or anything? I guess I could put... Orange soda in there. It's not perishable technically, but I like to believe it is. Because why wouldn't it? I do have some canned goods that I need to put in here. So we'll put the... Nope. Fuckers get in there. Uh, we'll just. Oh god, I hate seeing this guy. Because, you know, depth perception, it looks like they're right here, but they're down a floor, so. Alright, so let's put down. Open. Wait, what did that. So it gives me light ammo. I just don't know what that is doing for me. What, what does that give? Light ammo, medium ammo. So I don't know what weapons those are used for. <laughs> That's the fun part about this. So let's take the guns. And we're gonna put the guns in the suitcase. I believe the suitcase has more storage space. It's got 20, yeah. There will be one gun case that is for ammo, and another that is for miscellaneous shit like ammo boxes, or maybe like one that's magazines and one that's uh, ammo itself. Uh, none of these are filled, which is a little unfortunate. What do you look like, good sir? Ah. A cowboy repeater is a fairly decent weapon. Uh, it's... Why is it not showing up? Cowboy repeater, okay, whatever. Light case. Um, I hate that. Nope. They really need to fix that. So if it's like laying down on one of them, it's not just clipping into the other piece. It's a little frustrating, but when it comes to isometric games like this, it's pretty difficult to uh, kind of program that shit. Double up there. I have a lot of storage space now. So ammo and shit's gonna go to this bottom one. Yep. So we're gonna take 
all this ammo's going in there. The magazines are going in here. The actual firearms are going in here. Oh, I don't have enough room for these. Uh, first off, let's see. That is much better condition. We will take the better condition one. I will leave the other one as is. I will eject the magazine. Uh, where did it go? Cotton Eye Joe. Ah, it's in my hands. Uh, let's not do that. Okay, now it's empty. Uh, let's see, it's got... Okay, so that's why it used to see light ammo. So we will do this. Uh, let's see... More ammo. 308 is pretty nice. Uh, that's a decent amount of 308. Uh, I guess this would count as ammo. Uh, let's see, flight case I will also use to place weapons. Oh, apparently that's gonna do it already. That's a little frustrating. Help up the duffel bag you go. Till I figure out what to do with you guys. Uh, rusty pliers, you're going on the... What? Okay, well, first off, these two don't need to be here. Of that, I could be assured of. Uh, rusty pliers, where'd you go? You're gonna go in the tool bit. Why don't you go in the tool bit? I feel like rusty pliers, if anything, would be in the fucking tool belt. Alright. Medical satchel's still good. Uh, let's see. Dog is going at it again. Oh, well. I don't think I have food outside of a, uh, bread that I can have. I mean, I guess I can use the sardines, because that's not, that doesn't require a, uh, can opener. Uh, let's eat half of that. I fucking love sardines, because I'm a weirdo. Alrighty. Let's go put on, or put this in the garbage. I will eventually get a trash can up here, but for now it's just all going in the sink. A cigarette butt. And this guy. At least this way it won't, uh, it's not gonna disappear. It'll stay there until I need it. If I need it. I don't know what to do about the, uh, cigarette butts. I think they're just straight up garbage, so. Alright, what to do now? So I've got pretty much everything sorted. I need to put this shit in somewhere. Nope. Why do you not pick the one that I want? Thank you. I'm not going to be using this gas can anytime soon. So I'm going to place that over here. Uh, probably right here. That's where I'll collect the gas at. That way I'm a little lighter. My feet. Uh, let's see. Medical supplies that I don't need at this very second. I'm going to be leaving back here. So, antibiotics. 
antidepressants, beta blockers. I'll leave the disinfectant. Uh, reduces fatigue. I'll just leave that there. Okay, and then the toothbrush. Toothbrush I can probably just leave on the sink. It'll, oh, right up. Yeah, sure. On the medicine cabinet. Nope, where did that go? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Where, where did I... This is fascinating. Okay. My brain's having a fart. I'm just gonna put it over here then. Right in front of the TV. And the respirator can also go... Right here for the time being. Alongside the road flare, because I... Oh, I can't place it. Alright, so I'll just put the road flare... I'll put the road flare with the books. What could go wrong? Books near a flammable fucking stick. It's used to light up the road. Perfectly normal. Perfectly normal. Okay, so I've got all my inventory cleared. Uh, let's see. I think the next thing to do now is to uh, evaluate the situation. I've got quite a few locations around me that I could go and try and explore. The issue being the uh, copious amounts of zombies. That sounded like a fire for a second. I was legitimately worried. Alright, so... And since it's a mod area, I don't get anything out of this. Uh, okay. Shut up about my drawing skills. I just need a rough go. So, got that bit, uh, pretty much drawn up. I like that I think I, I draw this part of the building too far that way. Move it up. Once I get the eraser, that'll be fine. Uh, so I've kind of got my surroundings. It's a little dark right now, so I think I will sleep if I can. I'm not sure if I can pass time. And I'm not sure it's like Minecraft where I could uh, fucking take a nap and see everybody in the damn morning. I'm not tired enough to sleep. That's always fun. My favorite thing in life. Okay, uh, I'll wash myself. Uh, the problem with washing all my clothes is that it's going to be wet and thus cold. Uh, I need to go find a washer and dryer to install in the apartment. 
Which is very strange that there's no laundry room at all. I've never seen an apartment building quite like that. So my goal for next time, right? Like right now I just cleared out the apartments. I did a little bit of inventory management. Did a little bit of the map. Next goal is to clear out um, these, these garages back here. In terms of long-term planning, I'm going to build a fence crossing here so that they cannot pass. A uh, fence with a gate right here. A uh, fence blocking off this walkway so I can have all the garages to myself. A gate right here. I'm going to wall off the entire first floor of the apartment building. Um and begin plotting the area a little better. So right now I'm like... Yeah, I need to fucking move that around, but whatever. Uh, for right now, it's already been like an hour, and I didn't, I didn't intend to do this first episode all that big. This is more just like me getting into it, me seeing if it would work, if, uh if this game would record pretty well, and it looks like it is. Uh, and you know, seeing if, uh, I'm seeing if people really care enough about Project Zomboy to even want a playthrough of it. I can guarantee you it won't be a long playthrough. With how bad I am at this game, it'll more than likely be a very short. Please don't give me anxiety when I walk through a doorway that I can't see anything into. That's terrifying for me. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna end it right here. It's getting a little late for me in real life. And uh, I got everything settled. I got my plans. I got food. I've got medicine a little bit, like a really tiny bit. I've got a gas canister that I've had with me. I've got some guns, but I don't really use guns in this game just a little too loud so next next day will be uh cleaning out garages collecting some more supplies i'm going to be building a uh, i'm trying to see if bows or crossbows are buildable uh i haven't checked the crafting menu in a good while i i need to i need to see this top hold on okay so it is like a weird crop top. I was like, what is happening with my stomach? Grab that. Hey, quit bond back. Oh, I still have sardines. Oh, I should probably put that away. Forgot that I... Oh, well, you know what? Just fucking eat that shit. Eat that. Smoke a cig. I'm gonna need some more. That's gonna be... A Fucking disaster. I only have 17 left. I'll be honest, I usually ignore anxiety, because uh, you get anxiety really fucking fast, really easily. So I figured it's whatever. I'll just ignore it, deal with all my other shit, and she'll be fine. Uh, yeah, but this is day one of Riley Griggs' adventure in Long Road Home. I hope you guys will stick around for at least a few more episodes. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This is a this is a much more quote unquote relaxed game for me. So there's gonna be a lot less commentary than there is, and that's saying a lot because there's usually not very much commentary to begin with. Cause I'm a very quiet person most of the time. Uh, but for this game, I you'll tend to just hear me quiet down and uh, start to focus on random tasks. Uh, in that case, if you guys want, I can put on some like copyright free music that I can find just in the background a little bit just so you know this can be like your uh if you're watching this in the background while you're doing other shit which most people do I mean I know for a fact that whenever I watch a twitch stream I have it on in the back and don't do anything but uh okay So, what a way to end the stream. Uh, something loud just banged on my wall. So guess who has to go in the pitch darkness of night to the backyard to go and check it out? 
this guy, since I'm the only person to own. So, with that being said, I'm going to go have very fun time with my knife and flashlight and dog. I'll see you guys next time.